Hey, all right, it looks like we are live. Welcome. Today we're going to talk about why getting stuff done doesn't have to be hard. And I'm going to give this just a second. It looks like we're having a little connection issues. So if you're joining me live, say hey, type hi in the comments. It's always nice to see people live. And if you're on replay, you can say hey there too. I'll still see your comments and come in if you have any questions. So today we're going to talk about why getting stuff done doesn't have to be hard. And this is one of my favorite topics because I feel like when you understand this, when you get what habits are all about, your life becomes a lot easier. You can let go of some of the struggle. So I want you to think about this morning. You probably got up and you brushed your teeth and you didn't even think about it. You just did it. What was happening there? Well, what was happening is you've done it so many times in the same way, day after day after day, that your conscious decision-making thinking brain didn't have to think about that at all. And a different part of your brain actually takes over and it's like, oh, teeth brushing. This one I got. I totally you know, can take care of this. You can be having this other whole conversation in your head. You can be thinking about things. You can be doing something else in your mind. You can go somewhere else in your mind because your brain doesn't need its brain power to brush your teeth. You've got it. It's on autopilot. And that's kind of what that means. Autopilot frees up brain space so that you can do other things. It means that there's this level of automaticity there. Your brain is handling the process without your conscious decision making. So that means that when we do anything on autopilot, and there are a lot of things we do this way in our lives, um, brushing our teeth is one example. You may find yourself driving a certain path totally on autopilot. Um, there are lots of things that we do th that way. And when we're doing them, um, we are totally free in our mind to not have to make decisions. Now, decision making is something that really costs us a lot of energy in our minds. And so if we can kind of get rid of that mental energy and that having to make decisions, we are free to um, just go on about our day. And so the hack here, the thing that we want to keep in mind, the thing that we want to do is we want the things that we're doing on autopilot to be things that serve us. So we can create new habits. Um, we want to create new habits because when we create new habits that are the things that we want to do, then we actually do the things that we want to do that are important to us without having um, that mental energy or that decision making process. And so it goes from a struggle to like, oh my gosh, I really should exercise. What should I do for my exercise? What should I wear? Where should I go? When should I do it? All these decisions to just an unconscious habit, to just something that you do the same way day after day. You don't have to make this big decision about it. So as an example, um, I used to struggle to get the dishes done. We, I have five kids and um, probably this is more when I had four kids and there were just always messes and always dishes. And it would be like, oh, should I do the dishes now? Should I do them later? Or am I gonna wait until after dinner? I didn't have like a process in mind. And I wanted the struggle to be kind of taken out of it. I wanted to be able to get it done without it feeling hard. And so what I started to do is that every time I go in the kitchen, I just take care of a little piece. I just, you know, rinse the dishes that are in the sink and put them away. In the morning, I empty the dishwasher while the kids are eating breakfast. This is takes me a couple minutes at a time and it's not really a big deal, but what it's done, it's become a habit and it's become this unconscious thing. I go in the kitchen, I take care of the dishes and it's a continual process throughout my day. And because of that, because it is unconscious, because I'm not like making this decision and should I do the dishes and should I be mad that someone else didn't do the dishes and all these things, now it just is effortless to me. It's not something I spend a lot of time thinking about or putting a lot of mental energy to. It seems easy. And the things that we want to have happen in our lives, whether that's dishes or exercise or, or running a marathon or writing a book or these big goals, we want the process to get there to feel easy, to feel effortless so that the day by day, it just kind of happens. So getting anything done in your life is going to become easier when you make it a simple daily habit. So I want you to think, 
what habit do you want to cultivate? What is it in your life that you want to have easy? What would make a difference if it was easy for you every day? Tomorrow, we're going to really dive into the science of how to create habits and what that looks like and how you can um, decide. So the first step that we're talking about today is what do you want to feel easy? And then tomorrow we're going to talk about how to actually do it and how to start those habits. So if you want to see if habits will make a difference in your life, if you're feeling like, oh my gosh, yes, if I could take that one little part and make it easier, that would make such a difference, then reach out, schedule a call with me. I'd love to get on the phone with you and just talk about what could feel easier and what your life could look like if we just did these simple switches and these simple tools to help make your day, both your motherhood, your business, just your life run a little bit smoother. So reach out. I would love to hear from you. Have a great day, you guys. Join me again tomorrow and we'll talk more about how to create these habits. See you soon. Bye.